lesser terrestrial style dining. <laughs> hey. So we are out of my studio. I know, a little redundant because I spent like two months redoing it and now I'm leaving it already. I've done one video in it. One. And, and I'm like, you, let's go on an adventure. And here you are doing it in, but the, in your studio. The little shop of horrors. The little shop of horrors. So we got food. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna have ourselves a good old fashy mukbang. So we got some, it'll open. We got some pizza. Ooh, ah, uh, I love pizza. Pizza is the tits. This box is like the devil. We got some spicy garlic hot wings. They're super good. I got, did I get boneless? Oh, these are boneless. They're boneless. It in fact did not give me an option when I ordered. So, really? Yeah. It I was just like, you're gonna get what you get. I assumed they were gonna be like bone in. Cause usually when you don't have an option, they're... Marcy's under here, just having a good old time. We got some the best garlic knots. Oh, these are so good, I love these. We need to get together and we need to eat some food and talk shit about people that we don't like. You're like, move. like so off. You only get half of me today. Yeah. 50%. Like back up Done. so slightly. One boob. One boob to rule them all. There she is. Perfect. Marky, what are you doing? <laughs> so tell me, what are you doing? What What's going on in the world of Lord D? If this one will stop jingling back here. Well, we're working on the- She did. <laughs> production for the next show in February. We're gonna take over Valentine's Day. Um, Lord B very much thinks V-Day is a celebration for him and only him, but- Is it not? It should be. I thought that's what, I thought that's what, what it was. No, my bad. <laughs> he I still thinks confused. it is too. But he's also, um, we're working on a few new monsters, a couple character reveals, and a pretty ridiculous storyline, whereas, uh, Lord V has fired Spelvis over messing up his hair, so he puts out a help wanted ads, but it accidentally ends up in the personal section, and he hosts job interviews at the invasion. What could possibly go wrong? I can't imagine. Nothing. Mm mm. No. -uh. No. I'm on this greater invasion. It's like, yeah. You know, like. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. We have a kick-ass lineup. So who all, who all is uh, booked? Some people who've been on this channel, actually, besides mm -hmm. you, are booked on this one. Go ahead. Go Lord ahead, B your... is definitely going to be course. one of the stars. Uh, so, you know. Um Well, we have the Lesser Terrestrials, who host a mystery science theater style burlesque show. We're going to have the Laura Darling, Mr. J. Ruger, um, Haley Dollar, Casablanca, and Murphy Lawless. It's going to be a kick-ass show. Murphy Lawless, she was on the last one too, right? Mm-hmm. She's also I... one of the lessers. She is? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. See, that's things I didn't know. She's carnivora. I love me some Murphy Lawless. She's so wonderful. We can get forks. That's okay. We can use our fingers and you can wipe your hands on my pants. We have like a whole stack of napkins. We're good. But who needs napkins when you got pants? Just kidding. It's just Lord B shit. Yeah, about halfway. So we're here in your studio. Mm -hmm. If you want, we can like take a walk and eat. Cause there's like, <laughs> you got some things to, or like you can just bring things in front of the camera, whichever way. Well. If you want to show anything off. Bernice has been partying hardy. Say cheese, Bernice. Look at her. She's a whore. I'm still unpacking a lot. Um, I've only been in this location for a week now, so things are still new. Um, <laughs> I pretended to drop it and she goes, she goes, Oh no. It's still right here, baby. It's still right here. Here you go. She's like, is it real? Oh no. 
I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna have one of these now. I'm like, I'm like jumping around to all the food like some sort of like fat maniac. Mm. Nah, you're these alive. are the best. I love these mm -hmm. garlic knots. Mm. Say we just for the remainder of the video just sit around and shoveling food like gremlins. Mm. I mean, that's what I do anyway. Mm hmm Yeah. I literally, like, for mukbangs, like, well, we're doing a mukbang today because I put up polls on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and unanimously across the board, the winner was mukbang, like, pretty heavily. Like, on Facebook, it was, like, like, six votes to, like, 25 votes or something like that. <laughs> On Instagram, it was like 80% of the votes were were from Mukbang. And then like on Twitter, like the only responses I got were from Mukbang. Didn't get anyone mm -hmm. who was like, do another makeup review. I guess I suck at makeup, whatever. <laughs> no, you, we love your makeup reviews. It's just nice to see you do different things. Mm, yeah, no, I feel like I get so bored watching people do like the exact same video. Mm-hmm. Might do something else. <laughs> yeah. So I like to mix it up, you know? So what's going on in the magical world of things that I no longer participate in? And not like I participate either. True. You know, ever since a select number of larger names in the King community decided to say that, you know, male born, assigned male at birth kings don't really have a place in the King community, I decided that I don't want anything to do with people like that. So I backed off from kinging like quite off, quite a bit. I backed off from drag for that same reason. Is that women don't have a place in drag. And a lot of that. It's just a lot of hypocrisy in that. Oh yeah. So like you've stopped doing the kinging stuff. Um, what else have you been up to? It's been so long since I've seen you. Well, Last time I saw you, I'm pretty sure it was uh, the last invasion, honestly. Yeah, it's been a minute. Do you like some of this? No, I really don't mix out anymore. Oh, good. Okay, I uh... kicked that in June, and I'm sticking hard to it. But, well, you see, like, I did one show after that, but I pretty much just, like, not been accepting bookings for a while. Mm hmm Like, and just like I canceled bookings and stuff like that. I just really needed to like rest and like do my thing for a mm -hmm. little bit and not do anything. I actually didn't even upload to YouTube for all of December. Well. I just like took a whole, a whole ass break. It's been a really stressful season for people. Mm -hmm. Between training for my job promotion and moving and still working full time. The holidays. It's been a brutal December. Yeah, oh, it was a lot. Then I was like, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna create anything. I'm just gonna let my creative juices recharge and refresh. And during that time, that's when I like tore my entire studio apart and like rebuilt the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm like, I'm very happy with my new studio and I'm very happy that I got to have a break. Cause like literally not doing anything for like a whole month has been like, the most like creativity recharging thing I have ever done in my life. For real. No, sometimes it's important to put yourself before anything else. Oh, yeah, it's like this there's this like narrative pushed by artists and like art communities that, you know, like you have to constantly keep doing things and la da 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 da. But that's so not true. All it does is like lead people to like push themselves until they're sick and end up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. and, and that's like, you know, stuff like that's happened to both of us. Oh, yeah. No, last year I was hospitalized with pneumonia. That was fucking terrible. Yeah, and I was hospitalized this year, so... <clears throat> Can't do it, man. You know, you have to, like, take care of yourself. But, you know, um, during December, because of, like, all things people are doing, Megan and I, because we were plugged into, like, multiple art communities, right? Mm -hmm. We were seeing people, all kinds of people, like, oh, ended up in the hospital again. Like, from where they just worked themselves to death and in their art jobs and it's like that's that's crazy that we, people feel pushed to do that we also have to get it out of artists heads that you need to be doing something xyz amount of times a week in order to be considered successful the lesser terrestrials host a quarterly show every other season if not every season 
that's like four times a year we host an invasion. Um, because we're taking time on our productions, we're building props, we're building sets, we're putting together well choreographed fight scenes or wrestling stunts and trying not to kill ourselves while working full time. Um, it pretty much just pays for itself. I mean, you know, if getting up and doing things, like, if your gig is your job, mm -hmm. I can understand being like, I have to produce at a high rate and whatever. Because, like, it's your job. Like, mm -hmm. you have to pay for your bills, obviously. Right. But I don't know why I felt so pressured personally to, like, constantly be doing things. Because, like, I would be like, but no, like, I felt <laughs> like I had to constantly like do things like I was working, I work my full-time job, which pays all my bills. But then like, I felt like in order to be like viewed as a successful artist, I had to do a show like every week. So like every weekend mm -hmm. I was in a different city. So I was mm -hmm. like, you know, I would go to my nine to my nine, 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 I work in the middle of the night, not a nine to five, but you know, I go to my job and then on the weekend I drive up to like New York or Baltimore or Philadelphia or like wherever. I don't miss the Bird Darling days at all. Can you like hold it together for five seconds? <laughs> Will be baby. You know, I'd be traveling and doing all this stuck crazy shit, right? Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, during the week, I was filming and editing and uploading to YouTube. So I was basically doing three full-time jobs. Right. See, my thing with doing weekly shows as a drag entertainer, it just got so exhausting. And mm -hmm. to produce good quality entertainment and good quality costumes at such a high rate, and it just didn't pay off. No, it never drag does. drag is expensive. Yeah. And drag becomes repetitious. If you're not doing new stuff constantly, you're you get left behind. Bookings. Yeah, you get left behind if you're mm -hmm. not constantly putting out new stuff. Um, so there's this pressure to constantly be buying new costumes and stuff like that. But like in drag, if there's like a different, can you like <laughs> chill? But like in drag, the in the drag greater drag community, not just in like ours, but like all over, there's a really like a high pressure to like do as many bookings as you can. And if you don't, you're not successful and you're not good. Whereas you're doing the YouTube stuff, I'm uh, building monsters and costumes in between for one big night. We're getting ready to start filming a series though, so. That'll be good. Yeah. So in 2019, I'm definitely not going to be performing as much. Like, I'm planning on doing one, maybe two shows a month. If that. My thing is just like, I'm just trying to create better quality stuff. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's like, I'm really excited. And I'm like, oh gosh, I can't wait. I'm, I have uh, these like, uh, this, I'm working on a, a new photo shoot series, right? I'm doing a photo shoot in two weeks. I want to say two weeks. Um, y'all won't see it for like three or four weeks, but, um, unless you're on my Patreon, then you'll be able to see like little like bits and pieces of what I'm doing, but I'm working on so many projects right now. Like my studio, like the exact filming area looks nice, but everything else is uh -huh. just projects, projects, projects. I have them like all like in different parts of the room so I can keep them like organized and separated. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and I'm like, just, it's crazy right now in my studio. My studio is crazy right now. Yeah, the shit's about to hit the fan in here. Cause um, as of the 15th, after I have the rest of my shop moved out of my storage back into here and the rest of my old apartment moved into the house by the 15th. So um, by then, we're gonna start the major build on the major monster for the show. Really excited. You want to come out? Right in here, in this studio, they build the craziest sets. I don't know if I said that in the last time we did a video together, but they build the craziest sets. They're so cool and they bring them into like the club, right? When mm -hmm. you guys are performing. And like... We have um, a five hour setup period where we're there five hours before the show that set up the stage put it together by hand, and then start working lighting and fog into the sets as well. If you want to see pictures of it, you can go to Facebook and look up the Lesser Terrestrials or Lord V himself. Um, or you have... could travel and come see the show. I definitely encourage you come to the show. Fallout, 10-15pm, yeah. 
Six dollars at the door, 18 plus. Lots of people travel from out of state to see it. Mm -hmm. We had someone from Michigan come out for it. Yeah, so it's like, it's not unusual and it's not uh, outside of the question for someone to uh, drive from out of state to come see this specific show. That's how good this show is, just by the way. We turned the entire staging area of Fallout into the interior of an alien spaceship. It's the coolest thing. You guys will never see another show like it. It's literally the only one of its kind and like, it is definitely worth the drive. Should I put the snail on and show it to you? Yeah, okay. let's see the snail. <laughs> we keep the snail in a trash bag. Otherwise he'll get out of control and See, here we got little Marcy Bean. She, she comes with me pretty much everywhere I go. She's my baby. And she gets her airtime just like everyone else does. You know, she appears on, uh, on my channel. She's the most featured person on my channel, this little baby. Well, she very well should be. No, right. Do you like your screen? Do you like, do you like to see the people? Do you like to see the people? She's the best. She comes with me everywhere. She slips into my studio all the time when I'm filming. It's a problem almost. Because my studio's got a lot of dangerous things in it that doggies shouldn't be trying to eat. Snail trail. Hi. Hi, are you have pizza? Am I gonna have some of that pizza too? So at the uh, Greater Invasion, which is the last one. Um, it's so cute. <laughs> I love it. So at the last one, like I didn't know this was a thing, and just like all of a sudden, a giant snail just walks out. Yes. And I was just like, "Bitch, what?" <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> the audience's response to the snail was fucking hilarious too. Well, because it's fucking funny. The plot for the last invasion, uh, Lord V decided he wanted to order a mega weapon from a, uh, can you hold this for me? Mm -hmm. He orders this mega weapon from an infomercial. It's called the Mondo Miser. Got something small? You need to make it big again? You ever want the Mondo Miser? Um, he finds a snail and decides to use the Mondo Miser on the snail. And that goes terribly wrong. And it ends up backfiring on him, like all of his weapons have backfired on him. Which makes sense. Lord V is a very unsuccessful space invader. He's not exactly what you call a good villain. <laughs> all right, you guys, so we have eaten our food. Mm -hmm. We have talked about the invasion. We have, we have, we have, we've gotten caught up, you and I, on all the, all the shit. Marcy has gotten to eat. Mm -hmm. And um, we got to see a giant snail. I don't, I think that's that's an exciting adventure. <laughs> and if one. you're disappointed, then that's on you. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment mm -hmm. down below. Are you guys coming to a one of the great invasions? Uh, do you guys want to see the snail? And are you guys excited to see what the lesser terrestrials are doing in 2019? I know I am. I know I am. <laughs> Sorry. And you guys will be able to see Haley on my channel before the Great Invasion, so we can actually like just carry this saga on for weeks. <laughs> the Mondo Miser's right there. All right, uh, we'll see you guys later, and Bye. thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.